Hello everyone, welcome to Bees Battlegrounds. I'm Bobby B, and today we'll be looking at the Dragon Horse Studios SCP Foundation series Mole Rat. Um, Mobile Task Force Zeta 9 Mole Rats. I'm not exactly sure what the SCP Foundation series is. From what I could tell, it's kind of like an online community, like forum kind of game thing. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know what it is. By all means, let me know in the comments. In the meantime, this figure looked awesome. I, I had to get it. I picked it up. You guys know I love uh, military action figures, so I picked it up, but let's dive in. Uh, to start, it came with this little uh, legal disclaimer thing. Um, I, It's, you know, here. Um, there's that. So, obviously, I told you what it is. Dragon Horse Studios, SCB Foundation Series, uh, Mole Rat. We'll, uh... We'll dive in here. So he comes in this, uh, it's like a, a, the box looks like it's kind of like grody. It's pretty awesome with how it looks. Um, there's your Z Design, 1 12th action figure. It's your mobile task force, Z 9, mole rats, dragon horse. This is going to be the second figure. Uh, I got, I'll have a video for the, the figure one here coming up. Just top of the box. And there's your other side. Some nice little artwork right there. We'll draw up for him. Bottom and in the back, and uh, yep, that's some stuff there. Um, if you guys know anything that what that box says that I don't, by all means, let me know in the comments below. Uh, we got this kind of like this backing that just screams, you know, chemical trooper. Um, looks kind of like a subway or warehouse or something, it looks awesome. And then the figure itself was in this plastic tray with all the goodies and shenanigans. We also get a uh, little sticker set with a bunch of different, uh, I guess, patches and stuff. So, you can set them up how you want to and go from there. But in the meantime, let's dive in. So we got a ton of equipment. We get this uh, gas tank respirator kind of thing. Air tank, obviously, he's in a chemical suit, you know, full uh, full mop, mission-oriented, protective posture. He's ready to go. We get a hose for the, uh, the air tank. It connects into the bottom, kind of. Like that. And then I don't know where it goes on him. And the air tank's got these little little hooks in the back. We get an axe, because what good would a chemical suit be without an axe? I don't, are they fighting zombies? Does anybody know? Um, nice little uh, coloring on that. Is there some blood blood or rust or something? I'm not sure. That's, that's looking a little, It's looking a little red. It's looking a little red. But otherwise, fun little piece. Black and silver knife. Looks pretty good. Got some detail on the handle there. Walkie talkie. And then it's got that uh, that clip that clipped to his gear. So you can set it up how you want. And then we got a couple different clips here. Got this little uh, like double C clip kind of thing. I'm not exactly sure where this goes yet. I haven't really messed with it too much. Um, I just opened not too long ago. Put that over there. And then we get uh, another kind of clip that hooks into his gear. And then uh, some C clips right there. So probably for the weapon. Because um, a lot of them have the, uh, the Picatinny rail system. So you can maybe uh, work it that way to attach it to your gear. Is that going to go over? Kind of. You can kind of work it that way. Diving into the weapons, you get this AR carbine rifle looking thing. Magazine does not come out. It's got the four rails, and then we get a ton of equipment and gear. So we get a foregrip, and then obviously it can connect to the Picatinny rail system. You gotta really work it, maybe? Unless I'm... You get this UMP kind of thing. 
This, these weapon systems are kicking my ass right now. Well, look, I'm gonna end up breaking this thing. Let me see if I can. I wonder if I can work it to pop it over. Oh, there you go. So just gotta work it. Just be careful you don't snap it. It's got a little bit of movement there. You get this hollow sight, red dot, whatever you want to call it. Also on the rail system. Move that one over there. You get this uh, magnifying sight. Also got the rail system. Actually, you know what? I lied. This might be a flashlight. Yeah, I'd say this is a flashlight. So you get a flashlight. Also on the road system. So you can deck out the weapon. I'm not going to mess with that on camera. Get a little PEC-15. IR laser. Nice little detail for the battery cover. And then you get uh, two suppressors. You get this long skinny one. This goes right up. Oh. I just broke the uh, tip of the barrel off. Then you get this uh, short stubby one. I throw my throat across the thing. So there you go. So you can kind of deck these out however you however you want. sights I mean, they really want you to like pop these around huh all right then you get this pistol with the suppressor attached to it there's a little porthole in there so I wonder if other blast effects can fit in there and then the figure itself He's got a uh, double jointed elbows, hit the T pose, double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. Can't tell if there's a butterfly in there or not. Looking at the figure, you got the hood up. The hood can be taken down or off. It's got like a Velcro strap over here. Kind of loosen it up. And then there's some detail there. He's got the the pro mask on. Looks pretty solid. Like I said, I don't know where the uh, the air hose connects in at. Maybe just kind of wedge it into the... Uh, there's a cap. Wedge it under the hood. But it looks pretty solid. We'll put our hood back on here. Nice little... touch. Looking at the vest, we get a little bit of gear. A little, little gauge. Let's you know, I guess, the airflow. Bunch of sculpted pouches. Nice nice molded vest. Like I said, there's the two hooks. You got your molly. There's your two hooks for the, uh, the air tank. So you can work it in the... get it in there. You got your knife sheath on the front right there. Drop that bad boy in. And then you got the separate belt piece. And the belt piece got some straps down to the drop leg holster. And it's literally a drop leg holster. Uh, you got some elastic straps on the inside here. Other side, you just got another pouch with the uh, the, dro the drop strap drop pouch. Keep all your candy in that one. Uh, working our way down to the knees, we get these boot pieces that kind of, they're a little loose. They kind of, it gives them some movement. A little baggy in the knee area. Then you get your, your obviously your, your your waders, your waterproof boots, whatever you want to call it. Some peggles on the bottom. You get uh, two fists attached to the figure. And then that's your hand peg system. Grab the uh, right hand trigger here real quick. There's your trigger hand. 
So you get two trigger hands, two fists, two uh, regular gripping hands, and then two, you know, good C C grip weapon gripping hands. And that's pretty much the figure. Let's uh, let's deck them out here real quick, and then we'll get some comparisons in with some other lines. All right. Give me the UMP. Give me the UMP to start. And you're in business. Good to go. Fun figure. Very neat. I uh, look forward to... Uh, I'll have the, uh, the Classified Series Mole Rats the end of next week so definitely come back for that video and uh we'll definitely compare these two because the classified series more rats for them basically just like a hazard hazard trooper from the uh, pursuit of cobra line a little a little more amped up and that's kind of what this guy is the seaburn specialist uh the airtight if you would so get him to stand here straight up not fall over Oh, you were just standing perfectly fine. There we go. We got our Skull Sergeant figure from DLZ Toys. We all know he's got some goofy legs. So there he is. A little on the, a little bit taller than. Then we got our Action Force Valor vs. Condor. And then we got our G.I. Joe Classified Series Grunt. So... Eh, he's on the, a little on the short side, but he works out. You could definitely uh, put him in your display. And the good thing about varying height is it's realistic. I mean, you know, not every every person's six footer, which would make them six inches in the uh, in the real world. So if you guys know me, I'm six three, so I tower over everybody I meet almost. But are you guys picking him up? Do you guys pick him up? Do you guys skip out on him? It's not your thing. Um, if you guys know anything about this. Uh, SCP Foundation stuff, let me know in the comments below. Till next time, I'm Bobby B from Bees Battlegrounds. Load up, grab your kit, I'll see you in the Battlegrounds.